Hello, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to learn about the history of forensic sciences. That is the historical development of forensic sciences from the year 1810. On to the first, that's the year 1810. We find that somebody named Eugene Francois, a noted crafty criminal, convinces, convinces the Paris police to exchange a jail sentence to become an informant in Paris's toughest prison. Eugene would eventually establish the first detective force, that is the Surette of Paris. Forgive my pronunciation. The second one, that is in the year 1828, William Nicol inve invents the polarizing light microscope, devolutionizing the study of microscopic materials. In the year 1835, Aldorf Quartlet, who based his work on the criminology of Cesare Lombroso, postulates that no two human bodies are exactly alike. In the year 1835, Henry Goddard performs the first forensic bullet comparison. Goddard's work implicates a butler who faked a burglary to commit murder based on similar flaws in a questioned bullet and the mold that made it. In the 1838, William Stewart of Baltimore murders his father and is convinced, convicted based on bullet evidence, making it the first case sued by forensic firearms examination in the United States. In the 1856, Sir William a British officer for the Indian service, civil service uses fingerprints on documents to verify document signatures, a practice recognized in India but not forensically. In the year 1863, the German scientist Christian, that is Schoenbein, discovers the oxidation of hydrogen peroxide when exposed to hemoglobin. The forming reaction is the first presumptive test for blood. In the year 1880, Henry Folds, a Scottish physician working in Tokyo, publishes a paper in the journal Nature suggesting that fingerprints could identify an individual involved in a crime. Folds goes on to use fingerprints to solve a burglary. In the year 1892, Francis Galton publishes fingerprints, the first text on the nature of fingerprints and their uses as a forensic method. In the year 1894, Alfred of France is convicted of treason based on a faulty handwriting identification by Bartillon. 1896, Sir Edward Henry develops a classification system for fingerprints that becomes the standard taxonomy in Europe and North America. In the year 1900, that is 1900, Karl Ladsteiner first discovers human blood groups, that is the ABO system. He's awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for this in 1930. Ladsteiner's work on blood forms the basis of nearly all subsequent forensic blood work. In 1901, Sir Edward Richard Henry is appointed head of Scotland Yard and pushes for the adoption of fingerprints over Bartillon's anthropo anthropometry, that is the measurement of human individual, that is measurement of human body parts. In the year 1901, Henry de Forest pioneers the first systematic use of fingerprints in the United States in the New York Civil Service Commission. In the year 1902, Professor R. A. Ray, a professor at the University of Lausanne in Switzerland and a student of Bartillon, pioneers academic curricula in forensic science. 
In the year 1903, New York State Prison System begins the systematic use of fingerprints for United States criminal identification. In the year 1908, U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt establishes a federal Bureau of Investigation, that is FBI. In the year 1910, Victor Balthazar, professor of forensic medicine at the, at the Sorbonne with Marcel Lambert, publishes the first comprehensive hair study. In one of the first cases involving hairs, Rosella was convinced to confess to murder of German Bishop. In the 1910, Edmund Lockhart, successor to Lacassan as a professor of forensic medicine at the University of Lyons, that is France, establishes the first police crime laboratory. In 1913, Victor Balthazar, professor of forensic medicine at the Sorbonne, publishes the first article on individualizing bullet markings. In 1915, International Association of Criminal Identification, which later became the International Association of Identification, IAI, is organized in Oakland, California. In 1920, Calvin Goddard with Charles Wade, Philip O'Gravel, and John H. Fisher affects the comparison microscope for use in bullet comparison. In 1923, we have the in Frey versus United States polygraph test results were ruled inadmissible. The federal ruling introduces the concept of general acceptance and states that polygraph testing does not meet the criterion. In 1924, August Volmer, as chief of police in, of police in Los Angeles, California, implements the first U.S. police crime laboratory. U.S. Attorney General Harlan appoints a young lawyer, Edgar, to clean house at the corrupt FBI. In 1926, the case of Sacco and Vanzetti popularizes in the use of the comparison microscope for bullet comparison. In 1932, the FBI establishes its own forensic laboratory. In 1937, Paul Kirk assumes leadership of the criminology program at the University of California at Berkeley. In 1945, he finalizes a major in technical criminology. In 1950, August Volmer, chief of police of Berkeley, California, established the School of Criminology at the United at the University of California at Berkeley. At Berkeley, Paul Carr presides over the major at criminalistics within the school. In the year 1950, the American Academy of Forensic Science is formed in Chicago. The group also begins publication of the Journal of Forensic Science. In the year 1953, Kirk publishes Criminal Investigation. 1971, Brian Califord publishes the examination and typing of blood stains in the crime laboratory establishing protocols and standards in standard methods for typing of protein and enzyme markers. In the year 1977, the Fourier transform infrared spectrophotometer, that is FTIR, is adapted for use in the forensic laboratory. The FBI introduces the automated fingerprint identification system, that is AFIS, with the first digitized scans of fingerprints. In 1984, Sir Alec Jeffries develops the first DNA profiling test. He publishes his findings in Nature in 1985.
In 1986, in the first use of DNA to solve a crime, Jeffries uses DNA profiling to identify Colin Pitchfork as the murderer of two young girls in England. In 1983, the polymerase chain reaction Polymerase chain reaction, that is PCR, is first conceived by Kerry Mullis. The first paper on the technique is not published for two years. In the year 1987, FDNA profiling is introduced for the first time in a U.S. criminal court. In the year 1987, we have New York versus Castro is the first case challenging the admissibility of DNA. In 1991, Walsh Automation, now Forensic Technology Inc., launches the Integrated Ballistic Identification System, or EBIS, for the automated comparison of fired bullets and cartridge cases. The system is subsequently developed for the United States in collaboration with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, that is ATF. In their 1992, the FBI sponsors development of drug fire, an automated imaging system to compare marks left on fired cartridge, cartridge cases. In the year 1993, in the Dobart et al. versus Merrill Doe, a U.S. federal court refines the standard for admission of scientific evidence. In the year 1996, in terms where Mitochondrial DNA typing is first admitted in a U.S. court. In the year 1998, the National DNA Index System, enabling interstate sharing of DNA information to solve crimes, is initiated by the FBI. In the year 1999, EBS and drug fire integrated by the FBI and ATF, creating the National Integrated Ballistics Identification Network, that is the NIBIN.